I made the bedside table. That's big. I just can't believe it took you two months to let me see your room. Uh, well, there's a first time for everything, George. <laughs> and anyway, it took me that long to clean the place up. <laughs> it looks beautiful. And it smells nice. So do you. Aren't you a little warm in this? Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I am. Uh, my mom took Mike and Brooke to the movies. Okay. They won't be home till late. Very, very, very late. What are you saying, Sam? I repeat, there's a first time for everything. Really? Uh. Wow. Mm. 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 Wow. Um, what? Is something wrong? Um. Oh, oh my god. I should have never made that hummus. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's not that. No, you taste great. It's just that, um, mm, I, 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 I can't do, I can't do this. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that you were ready to get, go to the, the next level, you know? And I guess I'm sort of, uh... Freaked out? Yeah. It's okay, me too. <sighs> Maybe... We should, you know, take it slow. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I guess I just assumed you'd been here before. What, about to have sex with my girlfriend? No, I'm, uh, sort of in virgin territory, too, if you'll pardon the terrible pun. Would this be a good time for me to tell you how much I like you? Maybe a little. Oh, I really, really do, Sam. It, you're incredibly beautiful and... You're funny, and and I'd love your taste in art. <laughs> <laughs> well, I may be a romance geek, but at least I have an honest boyfriend. <laughs> <sighs> so, do you have a rough time frame for when you want to show me you really like me? Doesn't get better than this. Can't get any better than this. If it gets better than this, I don't wanna know. pleasure of welcoming Harrison John back from Death's Doorstep. His noble fight against leukemia should be an inspiration to each and every one of us. <laughs> Moving on. Which of the following activities cannot result in syphilis? A. Vaginal sex. B. Oral sex. C. Sharing a joystick. Is that a question or a Christmas list? <laughs> Glad you're amused, superstar. Take your best shot. I know Miss McPherson's counting on you. Uh, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that you can get it from different kinds of sex. So I'm going to say C. Is that your final answer? Cherry, throw him a lifeline. The correct answer is A, vaginal sex. No, it's C. The painful truth is your generation is an STD bomb waiting to go off. Now, every year I make this plea, and every year it falls on deaf ears, or worse, ears that are too busy being probed by soft adolescent tongues to listen to reason. 
That's why, in honor of National Sexually Transmitted Disease Week, I've written a play. <laughs> that burning sensation, a cautionary tale. Ew. Learn your parts, people. We opened for kindergartners of the Caroline Kennedy Schlossberg grade school on Friday. Gotta get them while they're young. Yo, I thought this was chem class. What if we don't want to do this play? Oh, well, then you're free to go. To F-Town, and I don't mean funky kids. If this play moves me towards a Lifetime Achievement Tony Award, and even one of you Randy couples towards abstinence, I'll be tickled pink and pleased as punch. <laughs> now for the assigning of the diseases. Austin, you'll be playing the role of chlamydia. Oh. Oh. Esposito, your gonorrhea. <laughs> Tuna, your syphilis. Yes. Ford Bernardino, you'll be my worrisome warts. Cherry Julian, my cantankerous crabs. Sir, I I'm confused. We're playing actual diseases? Clever, isn't it, Miss McQueen? <laughs> Naturally, you'll be the queen of all inflammation. Herpes. <laughs> McPherson, I have written the whore part with you in mind, but I won't lie, I'm a little worried about your range. Hmm? Looks like I've been spared twice in one year. Thank you. Not so fast, Miracle Man. You'll be playing the most important role of all, Hope himself, the Lonely Virgin. <laughs> Do you know how fattening that is? Well, I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just studying its movement so we can steal the show at the Claus VD Festival. Okay, you need to go back on your medication. I know. I'm all a Twitter. I find it shocking that these sea swimming fellas could turn nasty and root around in my La Perla lady drawers. Mary Cherry, we've been cast as Pediculosis pubis, okay? Not freshwater crabs. Wait, so you can't get these from unprotected sex? Not unless you have some sort of weird pirate fetish. The crabs that we'll be playing are millimeter-sized insects that infest the pubic hair and feed on human blood. Okay, you can get it from bedding, clothing, toilet seats, but the primary means is direct sexual contact. Really? Mm-hmm. Dang! So much for my research reservations at the Red Lobster. I mean, if I have to be an STD, why can't I be a little something more north of the equator? Joke, please, man. We're trying to eat here. Now, Miss Glass's play may be insane, but this creepy crawly stuff can really get under a guy's skin, you know? Make him paranoid. Well, I got no worries. Lily and I are waiting, and the only other girl I've been with is Brooke, and uh, she's cleaning. Yo, man, what about Nicole? Maybe I do need to get tested. I know, I'm cool. Because when I gave it up to Squish and Woo, yo, I wore a full-on rain hat, and she still made me get tested twice. What about you, George? You and McPherson cross that bridge yet? I'll never tell. Yeah. What about you, Harrison? What, me and Sam? Uh, we're just good friends, George. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> See, Harrison's got the best gig of them all. The ladies treat him like one of their own. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just impressed the way you, uh, you know, you dial down the threat. Get in under the radar. And I do more than just hang out with these girls. Well, yo, yo, you secretly party with each and every one? Yo, you a dog. <laughs> Maybe I did. I didn't know you was up in the big league now. I still thought you were down in the peewees. You know, Division V. <laughs> yo, I'm getting around to it, okay? I've been a little preoccupied lately. That was cold. Damn, Shug. Why you gotta go at him like that? You know he's still a newbie. My bad. Well, now we gotta make it right, man. Harrison's been through hell. I know. Let's give him a professional. You know, an escort to help him cross the Great Divide. A divergenizer. Someone like Candy Box? Good call, Georgie. I don't know, man. Harrison doesn't look like your typical Candy Box client, you know? Okay, who the hell's Candy Box? Dude, she's a hooker, Josh. A hooker, huh? <clears throat> Brooke, help. Oh, the window is ajar. Is George sneaking in again? I don't think so. Our night of a thousand first kind of backfire. Did you break up? No, no, nothing like that. It... He just wants to take things slow. Or maybe <laughs> he just wants to wait. Look, Sam, um, I wish I had. I mean, once you give it away, you can't ever get it back. I know that. Then why are you in such a hurry to lose it? I mean, usually you're so careful and so... Ah, uh, so prim? Uh, that is just the thing. I am tired of that rep. I just want to be sexy. No. You just want him to think you're sexy. It's an ego thing. They have Lamaze class to teach you how to birth. You would think that they could form a sex class that's actually instructional that shows a girl what a guy wants so we know, you know? So you mean like classes with actual videos? Yes. I think I know where I can get one of those said videos. Mm -hmm. That's a lot.
lot of strata spinning to gold, my lady. You're one demanding Miller's daughter. Quit your yapping and start spinning. But first, spin this. Ooh, Ooh, what is she uh, thinking? He's a midget. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't seem to care. Oh, well, you know, the king's had her locked in the basement for months. Oh, oh stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe Mike has a copy of Rumpelstiltskin Triple X. Where did you find that? In the garage behind his tool set. It's obviously a leftover from his lonely bachelor days. <laughs> okay, Brooke, what exactly am I supposed to get from all this? That women in the Middle Ages could be very demanding? No. That if a girl wants something, maybe sometimes she has to be a little more... Offensive. Aggressive. And you've got to be in the driver's seat and don't let him think too much or else he'll just lose his nerve. Harrison! Harrison, wait up, bro. Harrison, listen. We feel really bad about the other day, man. Yeah, bro, we had no right dissing your manhood. And to make up for our insensitivity, well, we chipped in and uh, bought you something special. <laughs> Thanks. What is all this stuff? So don't forget to read the gifts to me. Skank off. <laughs> Good for one night of ecstasy. Who's candy box? Ask it yourself, bro. Just make sure you call the page to make an appointment. Did you guys bought me a hooker? Yeah. Thanks for the pity, but I don't need your help. Are you sure? No, bro, don't look a gift whore in the mouth. What, you, what, you guys think I... I can't lose it on my own? Harrison, we were just betting that... You could use a little help, that's all. I may be a virgin, but not for long. By the end of this week, I bet you guys I lose it. Look, I was just helping you try and experience one of life's delights. Yeah, well, I will. On my own accord. By Friday. And when I lose it, it won't be because someone else is picking up the tab. May I have your attention, actors, thespians, people, please. Uh, before we begin today's rehearsal, good news. Irving Handelman, the godfather of dinner theater, the man that brought O'Calcutta to Hula Hands, has agreed to attend our premiere. <laughs> yeah, okay, people, work with me. We're losing the light. <laughs> Places, everyone! You are deep in the hardwood forest, 69 miles from civilization. Uh, Mr. Ford, kindly refrain from commingling with gonorrhea. Genital warts do not behave that way. How do they behave? Look it up! That goes for all of you. People, research your roles. Discover who your characters really are. If you want to play it with conviction, you must become the affliction. Uh, everyone should learn something new by next time. Except, of course, for Mr. John. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nicole, you got a second? Yeah. I uh, never got a chance to properly thank you for what you did for me. Don't mention it and don't get mushy. What's a little bone marrow between polar opposites from different social spheres, huh? Well, you saved my life. And I want to show my appreciation. And maybe a little more. And what'd you have in mind, Harrison? I have all the Pokemon cards I need. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was just thinking that um, since we were a marrow match, that maybe we could expand our sharing repertoire and see if we also match in uh, other areas. <laughs> so funny, Nicole. You, are you actually asking me to break you out of the, um, the Friends of the Hand Club? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm asking. Okay, well, I, um, I have to say that I appreciate your honesty, but answer me this. Why choose moi for this special honor? Well, because you're beautiful and sexy. Well, I already mentioned the thing about bone marrow, so in, in a way, we've already exchanged bodily fluids, right? That's sweet. Go on. I, you know, if this is your version of foreplay, it's, it's working. <laughs> Um, plus, it's not like you're so discriminating, and I heard that you do it with a lot of guys. That came out wrong. You know, Harrison, um, <clears throat> I'd love to help you out. You would? Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I'm, I'm booked for weeks. I don't even have the 2.5 seconds that it would take you when you do it for the first time. And it's a pity, really, because I'd love to be there when that first time lucky lady gets a load of your underprivileged red vine and then laughs right in your red cheek little face.
The symptoms can be mild or even invisible, so sexually active people if should be tested wants annually. Things, she has to be a little more Never aggressive. Never about chlamydia. <laughs> Oh, enough about you, enough about you, enough about you. Let's focus on me. Mm. Oh, are, are we cursing or are you going to kick my ass? Oh, okay, that's not in the script. I want you right here, right now. We're in your kitchen with your pregnant mother upstairs. She's too nauseous to move. Wait, you want privacy? Fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. What's going on? I'm being aggressive. Men like that. Look, Sam, Sam. I want you to, but not like this, okay? You're kind of scaring me here. Oh, great, great. Now I've gone from not sexy to scary. Uh, what are you talking about? You're incredibly sexy. You are. Look, I may not be the fastest guy in the world, but it's just because I want our first time to be emotional. I guess I'm a romance geek, too. How did I get so lucky? We're both big bees, and you're so sweet. But not too sweet. And when the time comes, I think the occasional game of forceful laundress could be fun. <laughs> Look, I've got an idea. Let's pick a date, meticulously plan for it until we've killed any possibility of spontaneity, and then do it the next day. How about next Saturday and Sunday? You're on. <clears throat> My May, you really just spit up on her stretchy pants again. What's going on in here? She's fluffing. And he's folding. Mary Anna Sweet goes to the animal hospital, but bottom line, they're scrubs. I know, but I must protect myself from those icky pubic vermin. Oh, oh okay, great. Thanks, Hans. Did you get them all? Okay. Hi. Bye-bye. Who are the boys in uniform? Oh, they're from Beverly Hills Pest and Upholstery. Yeah, I had them do a once-over the place so that this lady's privates could remain clean as a whistle. According to shocking information gleaned during last night's perusal of the urology channel, the average lady crab lays two to three eggs daily. They fasten the shafts of body hair and then can hatch into nits within a week. Oh, Mary Cherry, you're becoming paranoid. In an age of sexual misinformation and lies, it's the only way to survive. Trust no one. No one is honest. Hi, I have gonorrhea. I have gonorrhea. Hey, Lily, you want to keep it down just a little bit? Besides, you don't have gonorrhea. You are gonorrhea. I know that. But I can't tell the doctor I'm in Claw's play. He won't get it. That way, I get all the info and can go method. Like Meryl Streep. Get it? N no. But look, if you want me to get the STD panel, you know, before we do it, I'm totally willing. <laughs> Honesty is sexy. And I think that getting tested is the most noble respectful thing a guy with a checkered past full of cheap irresponsible mistakes and casual negligence can make the only part of the full std panel that's even remotely uncomfortable for a guy is the chlamydia test oh yeah how do they test the guy for that well first the doctor will insert his finger in your rectum and press on your prostate and then hey george hey i think what you guys are doing is great yeah well good luck yep you too josh ford Josh Ford, it's time for your chlamydia test. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Samson. You've been spending so much time with our boyfriends, I feel like I never see you anymore. Mm, I know, I feel the same way. <laughs> so, I guess congrats are in order. I didn't know you and George were so far along. Yeah? Wait, did George tell you that? No, I ran into him at the STD clinic. Josh was getting tested, too. But why would... George need to get tested. He's never been with anybody before. Oh, well, I mean, he could have been getting tested for anything. At an STD clinic? I'm sure that there is a perfectly innocent explanation. Yeah, well, I'd love to hear it. And uh, plus the fact that our mothers are both single mom lesbians makes it a win-win. What do you say? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> Today could be the beginning of the rest of your life. Remission, then. What do you want, April? What is that? It's the key to my virtue and complexity. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? It's an electronic chastity belt. My mother had it installed when I was 12. There are only two keys in the world, but I stole one for you. <gasps> Want to take a swipe? No. No, I, I can do that. Fool! You just passed up the only chance you'll ever get! You'll never lose it! Loser! Dancing on tables and on the sink. Excuse me. 
Yeah. Later. Did you lie to me? Hello to you too, Sam. Why would you need an STD test if you've never been with someone before? Unless, of course, you're not a virgin. Actually, I never said I was a virgin. I said I was in virgin territory. Uh, who are you, Bill Clinton? Spare me the linguistic backflips. Why was I led to believe I was going to be your first? Uh, correction, misled. Look, Sam, I'm sorry. That night in your room, you'd gone through so much trouble, I just, I didn't have the heart to ruin it. I mean, honesty would have killed the intimacy. Dishonesty is killing the intimacy now. Okay, the truth. No, technically, I'm not a virgin. Look, before I left my old school, the guys from the team took me out for this big send-off. I got really drunk, and I met this older girl. Uh, who was she? Honestly, I can't even remember her name. But the next day, I pieced together what had happened, and I realized what I lost. I mean, not just my virginity, but the opportunity to give it up for real. The way I wanted it to be with you. Oh, that's not happening. Did you wear a condom? I'd love to say yes, this being STD week and all. But the truth is, I don't know. <laughs> and I wanted to be absolutely sure for you. And that's when I ran to Josh and Lily. Well, you should have told me, George. Hey, Josh. Josh, I, uh, I changed my mind about Candy Box. I want to take you up on your offer. You have the certificate? Not on me, but I'll bring it tomorrow. Hey, guys. Hey. What's up? Uh, nothing. I gotta run. I gotta go cram for that imminent pop quiz. <laughs> Oh, it's all this talk about a certificate. Uh, you do think honesty is sexy, right? Right. Well, we sort of bought Harrison a prostitute. We wanted to do something, you know, nice to help him celebrate his recovery. Nice. Yeah. But you think it's nice to take advantage of some poor misguided soul who's selling her body to feed her children or pets? Oh, no, no, Lily, it's not like that. Candy Box is a seasoned pro with her own ad campaign. She knows what she's doing. Can't you see how degrading this is? It's not my place to tell any woman what she can or cannot do with her own body. That's a Republican's job. In that case, I'll sleep with Harrison myself. You say what? For free. Oh, Lily, come on. Come on, wait. Five, six, seven, eight! You can't resist a lady of the night, my dear. It isn't worth a struggle or a fight. My dear, if you're burning with the fire of a sinner's hot desire, what the hell, you may as well come burn with us. Just blow a little kiss to Lady Syphilis, with any luck she'll blow you one back. She's so slick and sly and quicker than the eye, you'll never know what's crept into your f If infertility kills your virility, you may have slept with sweet chlamydia, and your venereal zone is now bacteria prone, still you can't keep your hands off of her. Gonorrhea is oh so enchanting Never wonder why it hurts so much to be And herpes may be sore but she is hardly a bore And she will stay with you for all eternity <laughs> Darling, don't put up a fight You know you can't resist a lady of the night One tiny little incy beansy problem This is a dress tech Where the hell did gonorrhea go? This is so unprofessional <sighs> Harrison, you just battled cancer. Do you really want to expose yourself to... Well, pick your poison. I'll take my chances. Clarence died without ever knowing what it was like to be with a woman, and I don't want that to happen to me. And given my status, I don't have the luxury to wait around until I fall in love. Then let me be the one. Oh, come on, Lil, let's not go back to that sorry chapter, okay? This was all my fault. If I had gone through with it last year, like I was supposed to when we were gonna do it, then you wouldn't be in this situation now, and, and may maybe... This is so not about you. I'm tired of hearing that I don't think of you that way. Or, you're too nice. This is my decision. And I've decided that I need this experience. Hey, Sam. Can I talk to you about Lily? the record we're kind of having our first big real fight i heard yeah well i mean what am i gonna do she's yeah. blaming me for stuff that's not even my fault josh you are not gonna get any sympathy from me on the idea of sending harrison to a prostitute sugar's the one who came up with this whole plan and then george knew some girl uh, uh, george knows a prostitute 
Uh, I gotta go. Uh, no, no. Ow. Did, did he go to her? Look, Sam, all I know is George is totally into you, okay? You know, he knew some girl's name. Big deal. I'm, I'm sure it was innocent. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You're right, I'm overreacting. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's her name? <laughs> uh, Candy Box? <laughs> you believe that? Uh... Hello? Miss Box? Be right with you, sweetie. Make yourself at home. Hi, I'm Candy. Candy Box. Can I interest you in a piece of pie? I've got lemon meringue or Boston cream. What's your pleasure? Uh, I'm okay. Thanks. What's the matter, honey? You act like you've never seen a working girl petal pastry before. I, I just uh, imagine you'd be old, younger. Hey, I could say the same about you. <laughs> Let's sit down, Casanova. <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Box, you should probably know that uh, this, this is my first time. You don't say. Yeah. And I'm not experienced, but I'm very motivated. Listen, it's not an interview, hon. You're going to get the job. <laughs> right. <sighs> Maybe we could talk a little first. Mm -hmm. um, hi, my name is... <laughs> Do yourself a favor and make something up, sweetie. Otherwise, you're going to regret it in the morning. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, then you can call me... Joe. Okay, here is a menu, Joe. Your buddy's paid for a starter and an entree, but I'm easy, as long as we wrap it up in an hour. Oh, and before you get your heart set, I'm all out of the hot French oil, okay? Uh, two, four. If the menu's confusing you, let's just put it away, hmm? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> It is a bit overwhelming. All those combinations kind of put me in the mood for Chinese. <laughs> I don't do accents. But I know a great Szechuan place that delivers. Y yeah? Mm-hmm. Hoop it! King me! Impressive! You know, Joe, I find boys who play above average checkers are above average in other ways. <clears throat> really? Uh-huh. I think... I'm ready to take off my shoes. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Who is it? It's Sam McPherson from that burning sensation. We spoke on the phone. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Uh, this gal's doing research for a big Hollywood movie. I do a little consulting on the side. Hey, hey, get in there. It's, it's a set, don't worry. You, you can Hi. In. I, 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 you can uh, in. Hi. <clears throat> huh, thanks for seeing me on such short notice. It's always the same with you Hollywood types. Julia Roberts was in such a rush with Pretty Woman that she left my consulting credit on the cutting room floor. Uh, well, I, I can't promise you a credit, but my performance depends on getting the absolute truth from you. Okay. Okay. First question. Do you remember all your Johns? Well, I never forget a face, if that's what you're asking. But I try not to learn too much about my boys. You prefer to keep things impersonal? Don't put words in my mouth. That costs extra. <laughs> Look, when you're in the joy therapy business, you can never be totally impersonal. You have to make fantasies come true, and you have to do it on the clock. Uh, so you do remember your clients? You seem like a sweet kid. Why are you digging around in your boyfriend's basement? Oh, wow, well, you are good. I'm a pro. <sighs> Here's the truth. He and I are getting kind of serious. And uh, no offense, Candy, I just think it's sad that he might have given it up to someone who didn't care about him the way that I do. I want my first time to be special. And if he lied to me about something that is so important, I don't think I can give him my first time. Oh, he's cute. He sort of looks like that hoodie and the blowfish guy, huh? And like I said, I never forget a face. You don't recognize him? Uh, mm, mm, 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Oh, thank you, Candy. Anything to spread a little joy. <laughs> uh, I have a friend who might be coming by here. Harrison, he's a little over six feet tall. He's cute. <laughs> be gentle with him. He's a special guy, too. Okay. Thanks. All right, Harrison. The coast is clear. Wow. That was really nice of you to give her what she wanted. Well, don't worry. I'll make you happy, too. Yeah. Or maybe not. I'm sorry, Candy. I just can't go through with it. I never want to have to lie to someone like her. Okay. But you have to try my lemon meringue pie. It's low fat. Happy herpes. Happy herpes. Happy herpes. Happy herpes. Happy herpes. Five minutes, everybody. Five minutes, everybody. Five minutes. Uh, go a little lighter on the pancake. I want my words to glisten. What's oh, more? Temporary. Welcome to that burning sensation, a cautionary tale. I'll be your usher for the evening as well as an unsightly yellow discharge. Let me show you your seats. What do you mean she's got crabs for real and Miss Julian gave them to her? After all this company's been through, you two have the gall to taint my opening with a crab infestation? Are your egos that out of control? I'm sorry, Hair Director, but I will not share the stage with that sleazy infectress! You did this, Demon C. I didn't do anything! We'll see about that. Mmm. 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 Ew. Wait! As much as I'd like to finger Miss Julian, I must concede these welts, though creepy, are not pediculosis pubis. Then what's wrong with me? I'd say you have an allergy to shellfish or possibly wool. <laughs> I thought I had an STD once, but it, it turned out it was just an aggressive case of athlete's foot. What brings you here, uh, Candy? Uh, yes, I have a client in the show. Uh, Mr. Handelman, I projected a full house, but some uptight parents found the subject matter too graphic. Nachos? The, you know, the, the... Great seat. Okay. Hello, Irving. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are proud to present the world premiere of That Burning Sensation. You are deep in the hardwood forest, 69 miles from civilization. I must find a way to believe in the power of love. But shouldn't I be wearing a glove? Oh, I am in need of succor. And... I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't go on. There's something really important to say about my character. I, I, I just don't think it's coming across. I am a virgin. Then last night, I, I went to a prostitute. Yay! Don't get too excited. I'm still a virgin. Ooh! Though, I learned a lot. I used to be all about the act and about how it would just, like, instantly make me into a man. But going to a, a joy therapist taught me that sex isn't something to hurry up and get through. It's something to cherish and celebrate. With extreme caution, of course. So the point is not to wait just for the sake of waiting, but waiting for the right person. What I learned this week is that when it comes to sex, honesty is everything. You gotta be honest with yourself and with others. Because I mean, the, the biggest epidemic out there is dishonesty. This moment, this rite of passage and passion. It's one of the great gifts we're given. Save it for someone you honestly love. That's pretty much it. I had no idea there were so many diseases out there. Starting tomorrow, I am back on phone sex. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the show. What did you learn tonight? Oh, oh no running in the halls. Yeah. Claus STD play. Thank you was a terrific experience. I, I think I should bag journalism and study acting. Well, you were the best hooker I've ever seen. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh I have something for you. The hot off the presses result of my full STD panel. I assume you passed? It's not really a test you want to fail. Josh passed too. George, mm -hmm. it's my turn to come clean. I, uh, I didn't trust you. And I did something I'm not totally proud of. I went to a prostitute to check up on you. A woman named Candy Box. 
Okay, so you're spying on me. That is so not cool, Sam. So for the record, how did it go? I didn't even go see her. I know. I know. I showed her your picture. Okay. Okay, we're even. I've been totally honest with you. And you've been totally honest with me. Maybe tonight can be the beginning of a new era. You want to go back to your place? George? Mm hmm Since we're being totally honest, I think we should wait. I can't explain it. Um, I'm just not quite ready. I think we both have a lot to learn still. Okay, that's cool. Are you sure? You are really going to be okay with waiting? Of course, Sam. I love you. How's that for honest? Mm. Does this mean maybe yes? No. No. Okay. Mm -mm. okay. That's 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 fine. That's fine. Right. <laughs> and scene.